you'll, you'll understand when we talk about it. So let's let's start with what exactly big data is. So before we start, let me just ask a very simple question uh, from you guys. So so let's just assume that you know I am I am a client and uh, my core business is providing mobile services, right? So let's say I am a client like Airtel in India or let's say Verizon or Sprint or AT and T in US, right? So I provide mobile network to my uh, subscribers, right? And basically. Uh, I have a problem that every month a lot of users are leaving my network and they are joining other mobile service providers, right? And I want to solve this problem. I want to figure out why exactly these people are leaving my network. What is the problem with my network, right? So before that, I want to understand who are the people who might be leaving me. Once they have left me, there is no chance of getting them back, right? But if I know in time that these are the people who are about to leave me then probably i can take some preventive action right i probably i can offer them some plans probably i can talk to them and convince them that their problems will be solved but before that i need to understand who are the people who are about to leave me so the question to you guys is if you have to solve this problem for me you have access to my data let's say and you can ask me for new data sources also whatever you think uh, the data i can provide let me know of a solution that you can think of to solve this problem. The target is to figure out who are my customers, potential customers at risk, right? So that's a very simple statement. So all the answers will be acceptable. Just, just think about it for two minutes and let me know what is the you know, best solution that comes on top of your mind. How can you figure out the customers who are about to leave me? Anyone would like to, you know, propose a solution to this problem? Okay, Sayed is saying, what was the most recent activity before they leave? That's that's a very good solution, Sayed. Yep, I agree. So, so you can look at the historical data and you can figure out whoever customers have left you in past few months. You can look at their activities just before they left you. Uh, probably you can look at their call data records. You can look at their, you know, uh, customer care calls and you can kind of judge what exactly is going wrong. That's a good solution. Rajesh is saying, I will take the report from the customer care and analyze, analyze the top issues. That's correct, Rajesh. That's correct. That's correct, Sayed. We can find a pattern. Anyone else? So these are uh, right solutions, guys. So basically, <coughs> see, whatever solution you come up with that is your business logic right so for example let's say Sayed has said that you look at the most recent activity so the to look at the most recent activity you'll be basically looking at the usage data <coughs> of the customers right and that data is going to be huge because let's say i have millions of subscribers right and if i want to figure out what exactly went wrong with the subscribers who have just left me i'll be looking at a lot of data right and that data is going to be huge and that data is actually coming every day to me at high speed because a lot of users are using my network every day right and if i want to analyze that data i i am i'm going to deal with very huge amount of data right so the you know the definition of big data basically is dependent on these four v's which is volume velocity variety and veracity right volume as we all understand it is basically you have a huge amount of data that you want to process and big data basically is nothing but a terminology which is used to you know uh, represent to uh, talk about data which exceeds the processing capacity of traditional systems right 
so traditional database systems they have a limit on the amount of data data that they can process so when we talk about volume it means you have large amount of data that you want to process when you talk about velocity that means data is coming to you at a very fast rate so for example if i want to analyze data of last one month to figure out what exactly went wrong in last one month i have to be able to do that analysis within a month right because in the next month i'll get another set of data which is as big as it was last month so if i don't process that data of one month within one month then i am basically lagging behind right then i am not able to process all of my data so velocity means your data is coming to you at a fast speed variety means there are you know different types of data that is coming to you so in the past we generally used to have only text data so we used to have like you know name of the person phone number of the person probably email address of the person and then then some activity of that person right but today if you look at the data that we are dealing with it it is basically you know <coughs> different in nature right we are dealing with photographs we are we are dealing with videos we are dealing with browsing data so there is no particular structure attached to this data right when you anal when you want to analyze videos when you when you want to analyze images that is completely different from analyzing simple text data which could be put into a database uh, table and you could run some sql queries on top of it right when we talk about veracity veracity means the validity of data the accuracy of data right so let me just give you an example so uh, last time in the us elections when obama won <clears throat> that election in that election basically the obama team they had run a huge campaign on big data analytics so they used to analyze the social media reviews of all the people every day and based on those that analytics they used to come up with the topics that obama should be talking about on next day right so looking at the social media reviews of everyone whoever is writing about politics you can basically figure out what is the trend in general public right what kind of comments what kind of topics general public is talking about and if obama talks about the same thing on next day then it is you know uh, chances are that people are going to like it more right so <clears throat> big data analytics actually was very very helpful in that particular campaign right and when you talk about veracity that means you have to be sure that whatever data that you are working on it is actually a valid data the data is actually accurate right and you cannot figure that out you know using a, a database or using traditional technology technologies you need to have a system which can crunch that data at a very very fast rate make sense guys does that make sense guys are you with me cool thanks rajesh thanks shashank all right so so basically now at least we understand that there is need to have some technology which which can help us you know process process this huge amount of data right and also we understand that there is value attached to this data now <clears throat> coming back to the example that we were talking about like finding out potential customers who are at risk right so some of you suggested that you can look at the historical data uh, of like uh, uh, people who have left you can look at the customer care data you can even even you can run a campaign right to you can ask your existing customers what exactly do they like in your network what exactly do they not like in your network so all all these things are possible right but if you think about it it's all business logic now basically whenever you want to solve a problem a business problem it is a theoretical problem at the high end right so at a high level if you think about it a business manager on or or an executive he would just like to uh, give a problem statement in in terms of a uh, uh, you know simple high level problem so for example i want to figure out who are my potential customers at risk now as as a engineer or as a architect as a big data architect it's our responsibility to convert this business problem into a technical problem right but to convert it into a technical problem you first need to talk to a guy who is domain expert so what i mean to say is there are two things whenever you are solving a problem a business problem one is the business logic and second is the technical <coughs> 
architecture or technical solution to that problem right so the business logic here says that what kind of data you could be looking at so if, for example if i just want to figure out who are my customers who have dropped most number of calls in last one month right that is my business logic so i have come up with a business logic that if i figure out you know list of people who have dropped maximum number of calls in last one month then i can kind of think that these are the people who will be leaving me in next month because they are they definitely would not be happy with my services right because they are dropping a lot of calls so now coming up with this solution that to find people who are dropping calls is the business logic now how do you figure out how do you actually find though that list is a technical problem right now given the call data records of millions of subscribers you have to figure out top let's say thousand people who have dropped maximum number of calls that's a technical problem because you are given a data you you will sort this data based on the you know dropped calls and then you will pick the top thousand people that is a technical problem right so there are two aspects to every business problem one is the business logic second is the technical problem right and both of them are equally important so so when we talk about this you know finding potential customers at risk as i said one solution could be finding the top people who are dropping calls second solution could be finding the top number of users who are calling customer care because when people are calling customer care that means they have some problem right third could be analyzing the social media reviews fourth could be looking at the offers made by other mobile service providers right if let's say other mobile service providers are making better offers than me then even if everything is fine with my network even if everything is fine with my services people might be leaving me so business logic is as important as you know technical logic